What's up everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Main Deck Monday, and last week we covered the Dust Main Across, but this week we are covering the Glaceon GX deck. Now I've seen a ton of different builds uh, with this Glaceon deck, and I think the best one that we have seen so far is definitely the Glaceon Zark. Now there might be like some hidden builds with Glaceon that we don't know about, like there's Straight Glaceon. I don't know if Straight Glaceon is that good, just because you have like... You have the disruption, but you're basically playing like a worse Sylveon deck. I'd rather just play Sylveon. I've seen Glaceon with Decidueye. I don't think that's really good as well. If you don't have a really good backup attacker, like, you know, Decidueye is doing 90. Yeah, that's cute. You can Feather Arrow, stuff like that. That's really nice. Uh, there's also like the Glaceon Ninetales deck, um, which once again, I don't know. I think I'd rather have a better attacker and a be better, I guess, backup support Pokemon. And that, of course, is going to be Zark. So today we're seeing Glaceon Zark. I think this is probably the best Glaceon list. Not list so much, but best way to play Glaceon right now that we know of. Like I said, there might be some hidden kind of secrets out there that we don't know about Glaceon that will show up this weekend at Collinsville. Remember, this weekend is Collinsville Regional, so anything's going to happen this weekend, and I'm excited to see what's going to turn up at Collinsville. But today, we're looking at this Glaceon deck. Glaceon has that freezing gaze ability. As long as Pokemon is your act Pokemon, your opponent's Pokemon GX and EX in play uh, in hand and in the discard pile have no abilities except for freezing gaze. Uh, so this is going to shut down your opponent's Tapu Lele's. They're going to shut down the Zorks. They're going to shut down the Bloodthirsty Ice. Whatever you want to shut down, Glaceon can do that, which is fantastic. It all, I said all has. It also has Frost Bullet, 90, and 30 to a bench. Uh, we've seen this attack multiple times before. It's a very standard 90-30 effect. And Polar Spear GX, this attack does 50 damage for each damage counter on your opponent's act Pokemon, which is really nice to go with that Frost Bullet because you can, like, snipe someone twice, and then you can do that Polar Spear to knock out the Pokemon with, like, 68 damage on it. Maybe they have 50 on it. You can do 150 with the Polar Spear, which is 180. Uh, with the Choice Band, 210. So that's really nice. You can hit some good numbers there. Polar Spear GX. And, of course, we were playing the Energy Evolution Eevee. When you attach energy to this Pokemon, search there for Pokemon that evolves with that kind of energy. And, of course, that's how we're going to get the turn one Glaceons out. And that's why we're playing four Eevees and three Glaceon and only three Zora. You want to have, you want to you know, you want to start with this Eevee. You want to get out ASAP. Uh, so, playing four there. You could play a fourth Eevee, uh, Zora, but right now, don't have the space. Uh, definitely space is very tight in this list. Uh, maybe some cards we can cut, but we're going to go for this right now. Uh, so three Zora, one Zark, and three Zark trade. Now I am playing the one in stand-in Mind Jack, and this is mostly to help counter the Dustmane Necrozma deck. Uh, this is gonna be very, very problematic for us. But if they bench too many Pokemon, you can't punish them with a Mind Jack, and they have to deal with the Zark. If not, the Zark will keep doing heavy amount of damage to their Dustmane Necrozma. So that's why I have the Zark in there right now. I think Dustmane is gonna be this deck's big, weak, weak, biggest weakness, and so is Top Bulu. Uh, but with Top Bulu, they're gonna bench a bunch of Pokemon, and you're gonna be able to Mind Jack with them. Both with Dustmane and Necrozma, uh, Dustmane Necrozma and Top Bulu, yes, you do shut them down with, like, you know, Glaceon, Freezing Gaze, where they can't use, like, bridge, bridge and stuff like that, but once they're set up, they're gonna constantly hit some high numbers, and you need some way to combat that, and that's gonna be with your Zarg. Now, you have, you know, the Zarg GX with a riotous beating, but it's never gonna be enough to one-shot a Dustmane Necrozma or Top Bulu, and they're just gonna one-shot you back after you two-shot them, so it's not a good trade, and that's why I'm putting the one of Mind Jack, and I think this is where the deck's biggest downfall is gonna be. I think there is going to be a lot of Tapu Bulu. I think there is going to be a lot of Dustmane Necrozma. And I think those decks can easily take down the Glaceon deck. And that's what I'm talking about. Glaceon needs another better partner that can one-shot these guys. Because without that, I think Tapu Bulu and uh, Dustmane Necrozma are just going to run over this deck. And we're just not going to see it that well. Unless, you know, Glaceon by itself, just shutting down Tapu uh, Lele is enough to actually win games. That's going to be the big question this coming up the weekend. And, of course, Tapu Lele to help set up of our own. Now, we are playing three Aqua Patch. Uh, attach a Water Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Water Pokemon. Of course, this partners well with our one, our Water Energies of our own. We can trade them away and stuff like that. We are playing a high count of Water Energy, so that way we can start with an Eevee and a Water Energy to get that turn one Glaceon to play. Uh, one Field Blower. We're playing four puzzles, so you mean one Field Blower should be fine. Uh, there might be some SP Garbs coming a weekend just because there's so many abilities, but I don't think SP Garb is that great of a deck. I mean,. <sighs> it's it's good. Like it won in the in the senior division this past weekend, so maybe we'll see an increase of Espeon Gar coming to Collinsville. And of course, for Puzzle, we're gonna you know abuse the stuff for sure. Uh, so for Ultra Ball, two Ace Roll to hit our Pokemon. Uh, we can pick up Hurt Glaceons and send it to the active and stuff like that. It's, you know, it's just a really good card. And with Trade and Puzzles, you can abuse it over and over again. Uh, two Bridge to help set up. 
And we're playing a pretty heavy uh, support account line. Just in case we do play against other opponents, Glaceons, we don't get shut down. Uh, three Cynthia, three Guzma, two, three in, and two Sycamore. I think you still need Sycamore in this deck, uh, just so you can, like, Discard, draw seven, and it's a very good card. Uh, it's always discard like less resources or stuff you don't need in the deck. Also, there's no enhanced tamers in this list. I know some people are playing enhanced tamer. I don't know how relevant uh, special energies are going to be. I imagine that Zork is going to go on the downfall just a little bit and not be so, I guess, strong. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going against Zork coming into Collinsville. There's a lot of uh, anti Zork hate, so I imagine all the anti Zork hate. Aren't really going to be playing that much uh, special energies. Uh, Buzzwell is the only one I can think of because you got, like, you know, um, strong energies. And, then, yeah, a lot of things are going to play DCE, but right now I want to focus more on trying to set up. And that's why I'm not playing a hand-stamp in this list. Uh, two choice spin. Which hits really good numbers with the Glaceon, because a Frost Bullet puts another Frost Bullet with a uh, Choice Spin as a knockout. It does 210, which hits great numbers on Zark and stuff like that. Not that guy. That guy, there we go. Uh, Second so hit some great numbers right there. Uh, three Flowstone. Now, we are playing a heavy kind of Flowstone, and this is because I want to get that turn one freezing gaze off. I want to be able to Flowstone the active retreat into this Glaceon and start attacking. So, not only do we have four EV to try to get turn one, and uh, we have three Flowstones to try to get turn one, and eight Water G. So, we're trying to best get the turn one Glaceon and four DCE. So, let's go play this deck. <clears throat> like I said, it's a very hyped up deck. It's very hyped. It's probably the second most hyped deck. Um, coming into uh, Ultra Prism out of the new cards. I, um, some other ones, of course, are like Garchomp and Napoleon and stuff like that. Don't get me wrong, those decks are great. Uh, is this it? Yeah, there it is. I didn't see any water in it. I was like, oh, is this is water, water. Okay. All right, but let's go. Let's play three games with it for Main Deck Monday. I think this list is very good. Um, I think it's fine uh, with just a 3-3. And here we go. It looks like we're playing against a Glusspod Zork deck. <coughs> um... So this is going to be good, just because we can use our Freezing Gaze to kind of stop them. We lost the Coin Flip, so they'll have a chance to use the Tapu Lele. And this is where kind of the deck kind of uh, has a, you know, downside. Oh, and we don't have that good of a hand. Now, we still have the turn on Freezing Gaze. We can bridge it for a EV, two Zoras. Why did you find it? Floats to a tree and be good to go. We can turn on the ability, but uh, there's a Wimpod. He's going to get that turn one. Uh, oh, he's got a Bridget anyway. Who needs a Lele when you got Bridget in hand? Now, the good thing, he did start Wimpod, but he most likely is going to find a Coco, put it down, retreat to it, and uh, just pass onto our turn. It does have that Wimp Out ability, uh, making it where it has no retreat cost. And uh, just remember, oh, whoa, three Zoras. He must have Coco in hand. I don't think he would. That would be pretty crazy to see. Okay, nope, no Coco. So maybe he doesn't play in his deck. He uh, maybe obviously maybe he just decided not to play it because he needs more space. So there's a Bridget. So we start double Bridget here. Uh, kind of weird. But we'll get Eevee and two Zora. So we do have one prize. This is the downside of only playing three. But we can put a Water Jet on this guy. We can use that Energy Evolution. Yes, we are going to find that Glaceon. Now one thing he could do to get around this Glaceon, of course, is Guzma. But when he Guzmas, he's actually using his supporter card for turn, so I'm fine with that. We'll flush on the active, treat to Glaceon, and we'll just pass here. Uh, just getting the effect in place. Probably really bad for opponent. They can't Lele, they can't trade. We did shut them down. There's Eva Soda. Gonna most likely find a Zark GX, but they cannot trade this turn. The only downside is they can uh, do a ton of damage this turn um, with just a riotous beating. So there's the Eva Soda. Gonna find another Zark, but they remember, they cannot trade. So another Zark coming down. Alright, so that's two Zarks coming to play. Uh, there's a third Zark. Calm down there, opponent. Wow, I didn't didn't mean to make you mad there, bud. And there's a Guzma. So he's going to use that Guzma, bring up the Zora. And this is where he's going to start trading to try to find a DCE to take a knockout. So there's a trade. And like I said, he, you know, I, I this is fine. He can knock out the Zora. The only problem is we don't have a Rescue Stretchers in this deck. Um, <clears throat> we do have Dome Puzzles, so we can get that back. Uh, we can find a Zark this turn as well. But either way, we're going to get a Frost Bolt off probably this turn. There's a second trade, just going to get Ringaroo. He's making sure he doesn't lose the deck out. <laughs> Alright. And there's a third one. A Ringaru by itself should be enough to beat, like, the Hoopa Mill stuff. But did he find a DCE? If not, we're looking really, really good. Um, because we can just Ultra off the active Zark and use our own supporter card this turn and put some pressure on our opponent. So even though he guzma there's an Ultra Ball to find a Glisspod most likely. Discards another Guzma. So that's two Guzmas being discarded. Now he probably plays like four, you know, feel, uh, not four for It's probably four puzzles, whatever. There's a Coco coming down. <clears throat> All right. So Coco coming down and pass onto our turn. So he did whiff. That is fantastic. So unfortunately, with the Ultra Ball, discard the Bridget and the Aqua Patch. We are going to find a Zark. And uh, going to put the Zark in the Active Spot. 
just so that way we can attack if we need to. And we'll go for the Synthy here, drawing six new cards. Uh, can we find another Floodstone? There's a DCE and another uh, <clears throat> another Zark, so we'll put the Zark down. We will trade, discard the Eevee, draw two new cards. Can we find a Floodstone to shut down the Zark? That's the question here. All right, that's not what we need. We will trade again. Uh, we'll discard <clears throat> the N. All right. Because what we can do next turn is find an Ace Roll to pick up the active Zark. And speaking of Ace Roll, there it is coming to our hand. We'll put a DC in the active and we'll go for that right. He's beating for 20, 40, 60, 80. All right. So <clears throat> the only bad thing is if we want to take a knockout this turn, we have to use Polish Spear GX. Uh, which is probably not that bad of a play, but he still has to find an energy this turn. He could find his own Ace Rolla, uh, but we have our own Ace Rolla. Then we can Ace Rolla and send up this guy and start attacking that way. Here comes Glossopod. Uh Could have, you know, Arm Press not that scary. Uh, I guess Arm Press is kind of scary. I was more talking about the uh, Crossing Cut GX attack, but there we see Zora come down. And I think this is actually a good matchup for us. Uh, DC to the bench. Okay, he's not going to take a knockout here. We have an Ace Roll of our own. Here comes Zark. We'll see a Riot is beating here. Whoo! <clears throat> All right, so right is beating for 100 damage. On to our turn. Let's see what happens. So we got an Ace Roll. Oh, hold on. We need to trade first. So we're gonna trade. Uh, we're gonna discard a Guzma. I wanna keep the Lele in hand just in case we need it later on. We'll find two new cards. So there's an Ultra Ball and a DCE. We'll trade, discarding the Ultra Ball. Let's draw on two new cards. Basically, draw a billion cards. I'm uh, gonna play the Ace Roll. I'll put the Zark back into our hand. Uh, send it to Glaceon. Gonna shut down his abilities. Uh, put down the Zora. Put a DC to the active, and we will go for the Frost Bullet 90. And we know he already has a, uh, a Zark in hand, so I'm put 30 on the Gliss Pod. It can be relevant later on. Uh, maybe do that Polish Spear GX. Now, the thing is, he is going to take a, he can swing, but he's not going to knock us out. And he can't use trades now, so that's even better. He can't use trade. Uh, what we kind of need to find is another Eevee as well. Maybe should have bench this one. He's already down two Guzmas. He probably plays three, most likely. There's another Zark coming down to the field. Okay. Uh, 120 left. So we need to find a choice minister and take a knockout. Or we could just potentially take a knockout with a Zark. So on to our turn. We find a Water G. So put down the Zark. We will... Oh, no. Don't attack yet. Uh, we'll trade. Discard the Water G. Draw two new cards. Let's see, what do we find? We find a Zark and an Aqua Patch. Okay. Um, we'll trade again. Uh, discard an Aqua Patch. Draw two new cards. Oh, no. So 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Oh, man. So we have to kind of use our GX ability. We want to take a knockout this turn. So I'm going to DC in the active. But he really doesn't have any, any cards to trade with. Uh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. Yeah, we missed it. Oh, that's unfortunate. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just going to go for the Polar Spear GX. It's At least gives us a knockout. Hicks is only DC off the board. And I think I'm fine with this play. It's kind of wasting it, though, which is kind of unfortunate. But we're getting rid of his only DC on the field. He can't trade. He can't do anything. Uh, we did 450 damage. That's a lot of damage. There's a DC and a Sycamore coming to our hand. Okay, here goes Lococo, onto our opponent's turn. Now, realistically, if he takes a knockout, we could find another um, Glacier on this turn, which is kind of crazy to say, because we could double puzzle for a Eevee and a Water Energy, and Water Energy, evolve it, attach a Water Aqua Patch, and get a new one online, which is really cool. All right, so Hands Timber come down, but I don't really care about that. What we need to see, does he have a DC or not? There's a Guzma, which is going to allow him to trade. Once again, making it where uh, Glaceon does not get hurt this turn. All right, so that's really nice. So trade here. Going to discard a card. Draw two new cards. Discard the Lele. He could have put down the Lele and found a supporter card for next turn. And this is actually really good. All right, so there's a Flustone going to the active. Give that free trade. There's another trade here. Uh, most likely what he's looking for is a Grass Energy or some kind of supporter card for next turn. All righty. And will we just see a pass? There's an E-Hammer. Discarding the DC off the bench. So he got rid of two DCEs this turn. Uh, puzzle time. Gonna range top three cards of his deck. And that's usually not good if you range top three cards of your deck. <clears throat> Alrighty. But we will put that Glaceon back up to the X spot. 20, 40, 60, 80. He's actually not even knocking our Glaceon next turn, which is really cool. Pass onto our turn. I'm going to Aqua Patch to this Glaceon. Water Energy it. Um, and then Guzma. 
Yeah. Oh, don't do freeze on me, game. All right, so we're going to trade, discard eight, and draw two new cards. We're looking for another ED, um, which could be really nice later on. There's a water gene field blower. Uh, we discard the field blower. Oh, yeah, we discard the field blower. That's fine. <clears throat> I'm going to keep pretty much everything else in my hand. There's Guzma Ultra Ball. So I'm going to Guzma, bring up his Glassipod, uh, set up our Glaceon, and attack with the Frost Bullet. We'll put 30 damage on the Zark with the Floodstone. All right, so there we go. Oh, probably, probably, probably should put a 30 on this guy because he doesn't have a choice spin on it and or doesn't have a tool on it. But now we can knock out this, this glass pot next turn. So I think that's pretty cool. <clears throat> All right, so there we go. We're slowly getting there. There's a the Bridget. Going to search for two Pokemon. But he once again, he can't use abilities, which is what his deck really relies on is finding these abilities and stuff like that. All right, but I think we're in a good spot here. We are taking down Glazor glass pot, which is definitely a strong deck. It's a very, very strong deck. I don't... He doesn't look like he has any... Oh, he has a Ranguru. I guess it's Ultra Prism stuff. Uh, two Wind Pods coming down. Okay. Grassy just Wind Pod pass onto our turn. All right. So, let's see here. <clears throat> now, we could get a brand new Glaceon out this turn. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is Ultra Ball. Discard the Glaceon and Eevee. Just as uh, Glaceon in the top of the lane. Let's see what's in our deck. So, I'm going to grab an Eevee. Um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna get another Glaceon out this turn. So grab the Eevee. <clears throat> we will put down the Eevee. Put a Water Energy to it. Yes, we'll grab a Glaceon. I know it's in the deck. I just saw it. <coughs> All right, so the Glaceon come down. We will trade, discard a second one, draw two new cards. All right, it's a Water Water. We will trade a Water Energy away. Alright, so DC and Flowstone. Okay, so we have a couple options here. I can double puzzle for two Aqua Patches. Basically prevent him from knocking us out and Ace Roll the active, which is pretty cool thing to do. And I think that's what I'm going to do here. Uh, just to prevent him from taking a knockout. He can't take a knockout this turn. We're going to take a knockout. And yeah, I'm going to put two cards. Going for the double the Aqua Patch here. Okay. Oh, we only have one. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no, Josh. Oh, no. Um, okay, hold on, hold on, we gotta think about this, how, how do we want to do this? <clears throat> Uh-oh, I thought we had two in the discard pile, we should discard the other one. Um, well, I guess we're gonna have Patch. <clears throat> wow, okay, I thought we had two in the discard pile, that's my fault, I'm sorry guys, I should look forward to that. Um, we've already double traded. I think we'll grab still a double Aqua Patch. And what this could do is save our water energies, uh, or save our DCEs. Man, maybe we should just grab DCE. Uh, oops. I wanted for the knockout, but I forgot to discard my energy. We'll put a 30 on this Zark. All right, so that was kind of unfortunate, but now he has 150 HP. What this allows us to do is we, if we find a Choice Band and a Guzma, we can knock out the Zark with our Zark GX. So that's pretty cool. All right. Uh, we should have enough bench Pokemon, unfortunately. Oh, so he's, he's puzzling here. Oh, we won this game. We we won this game. But what is Dead Drew? All right. So that's that's very good. I kind of messed up there at the end with the Ace Rail play. Definitely should have discarded one more Water Energy and we would have had it. Or did I hit the Water Energy after we did that? I don't know. Uh, the downside of using Ace Rail is you only pick up, like, damage Pokemon, so you can't, like, retreat, and then Ace Rolla, but that was a pretty good game, that was a really good game, showing the power of Glaceon, just saying, hey, you can't use your abilities, we're gonna beat the Zorak decks that really rely on these high abilities with their only Zorks, all right, so in game number two, Waking Eyes, looks like they're playing a Buzzwall deck, now, Buzzwall is very interesting, because Buzzwall doesn't rely on too many abilities that are GX and EX, they, you know, they have the Octo, they get the Bloodthirsty Eyes and stuff like that, we did win the Coin Flip, but they don't care too much about using Tapu Lele, they're gonna play a billion, billion kind of counter, or good cards, and, whew, this is a pretty good hand already, alright, so we start Eevee, Water G, put down Zora, Bridget, uh, finding multiple guys, and we're gonna have the turn one lock here, which is really, really nice, and that's what the deck kind of wants to do here, now, <clears throat> We could not lay late depending where our top deck is because right now we don't have a supporter card and that's what we really need for the following turn. And there's a red rock from our opponent. So we'll put a water in the active. Yes, we will find a Glaceon. All right, so there we go. Now, once again, 
do I want to put down Tapu Lele here? Do I just want to pass? And I think I'm just going to pass right now. I don't have a supporter card for next turn. I don't want to bridge it and then not find anything. That would be very bad for us. There's a fighter to go to the active. Um, there's a Guzma. I'm going to bring up our bench, Zora. Okay. Pass onto our turn. Uh, so we find it in. So a choice between this guy. Tapu Lele, Wonder Tag. Yes. I'm uh, going to find a Sycamore. And we're just going to discard all these water energies. And this is where Sycamore comes in clutch. Because uh, I don't want to end. I really don't want to Cynthia either. I'm fine with the Aqua Patch and these water energies. Um, I don't want to attach any water to the active uh, right now. So the DCE, Aqua Patch, okay. <clears throat> we have a Zork as well. Uh, but we need to find the right Zork. So I'm going to Ultra Ball. Discard the Zork and the Guzma. To find a Zark, <clears throat> we'll put the Zark in the active. We will trade to discard the Choice Man. Draw two new cards. Let's see, can we find a Flowstone or not? And unfortunately, we did not find a Flowstone. But we got an Patch for the bitch. Okay. DCC active. It will still swing uh, for 60. Now, this... I see we to grass no, but he's weak. He has 120 HP, so this guy can take a knockout on this red rock next turn. So there's a flow something to the active. We're probably gonna see Tapu Lele coming down. Um like we have the lock, right? But he unfortunately he started with Guzma. We couldn't find one of our three flow stones. Uh there he goes discarding a a, uh, a new locker rock. There's a Lele. Which is unfortunate. Uh man, if we would have found a flow stone, we played three of them in the deck and gonna find one. Oh man. Oh well. So there's a Cynthia. I'm going to shuffle his hand and draw six new cards. Cynthia's such a good card. Uh, there's Cynthia. Speaking of Cynthia, there's ours. Uh, the six new cards come into his hand. The good thing here is Buzzwell does not take a knockout. This room raid. A Buzzwell coming down as well. Another Buzzwell hitting the bench as well. Strong energy to Buzzwell. We'll see a treat we'll, uh, and see a jet punch for uh, 120 and 30 to the Glaceon. Yeah, the 120 is definitely dangerous for us. So there's an Ultra Ball. All right, so we'll put a Water G on this guy. We'll Field Blower. Get rid of the Floatstone off the bench. And we'll go for Cynthia here. Uh, looking for a Floatstone for a Zark. Let's see what six cards do we find. There's a, a Zora, an Ace Rolla. Alright, so put down the Zora. We will <clears throat> trade. Discarding the... Let's see. We'll discard the Ultra Ball, I think. I'll oh, discard the Guzma. I want to keep the Ultra Ball just in case we need to find a Zora this turn. All right, there's another Zora, so we don't worry about that. The only thing is we don't have a knockout this turn, but do still do a 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, which means next turn Glaceon can take a knockout. Uh, so yeah, we'll go for Riotus Beating for 100. Glaceon can one-shot the Buzzwall next turn, which is really nice. All right, but he's going to take a knockout on the Zork. Uh, we can do 90 and 30 to the other Buzzwall. Uh, set us some damage, and there's an end. We'll both find some new cards. Hopefully find some more Zorks. Um, he's looking for Max Elixir to try to knock out a Glaceon with his Buzzwell next turn. There we see Octopatch, uh, another Zark. Oh, we have this actually a really, really good hand. He gets his Octo down, okay. And there's a Jet Punch for the knockout. Probably do 30 to our Glaceon, most likely. That's what I would assume. It's really good to do that. And no, go put 30 on the Zora, okay. That's fine with me. Uh, we're gonna take a knockout this guy, put 30 on his Buzzwell. So, we'll set up Glaceon. On our turn, let's see, what do we get here? We get a Cynthia. So, put down Eevee. We'll put down Zark. We will Ultra Ball. Uh, discard the Cynthia and Glaceon to find another Zark. <clears throat> the only problem is that we don't have another Glaceon on our deck. So, get the Zark. We'll put it down. And we will in. Alright, so let's see what do we find with this in. I'm hoping for a Water Energy to power up this guy. Unfortunately, we do not find that, uh, but we can't put a DC on it, which is, I think it's just as fine. Wait, let's let's uh, trade, discard the bridge at first, and then trade, discard the EV. Uh, those two cards we really don't care about too much, so there's an Aqua Patch and something else. Uh, so trade, discard the other EV, draw two new cards. There's a water, okay, it's so a double water, so put a water gen on this guy. Uh, no, we don't have any Glaceons in the deck. Uh, we already have, do we price two Glaceons? Or do we have one in the deck and I just didn't know? I don't know. All right, so we'll Frost Bullet uh, for 90. Put 30 on this guy. And there we go. We are going places, guys. So 120, 90 there. Take two price cards. Give me a Glaceon. There's a Glaceon, and there's an N. All right. So he's going to set up uh, the Octo um, with Buzzwall. So 160, 510, 15. 
Uh, so we need one more. We need a choice band, which we can find with the puzzle. Uh, there's a rock throw coming down, which we can immediately shut down. There's a max elixir. He's trying to power up that buzz wall. Take a knock on this turn. Uh, he needs a knuckle impact. And there's a second more. He needs one more energy, but we do have the retaliation knockout. But it's going to be two to two on prize cards. We're going to be able to end him. Uh, there's a watch and learn subtle wood coming down. A fighting energy to that buzz wall. We will see a knockout this turn happening, but we are going to knock him out as well. All right, so there's a knuckle impact, knocking out our Glaceon. It's a very close game, going down two to two. Let's see what do we got here, guys. We'll send up the EV. <clears throat> All right, so on to our turn, we find a Ultra Ball. So we will uh, DC the active, put down the Glaceon. Uh, I kind of want a double puzzle here, so I'm gonna trade first. Well, that's not a trade. I'm gonna trade. Uh, discarding the Water G. We don't need that anymore. We're gonna find two to cards. There's a water and an acerola. Okay. Um, so we need a choice band this turn. That's for sure. Okay. And then Zork. Well, then we have to clean this, this red rock with a, another glaze on, which I think is very doable. Uh, so I'm going to trade again. I'm going to discard the Ultra Ball. Maybe we should discard the water. All right. There's a flowstone. So I'm going to flowstone the Lele. I'm going to double um, puzzle for a Guzma and a Choice Ban. This is going to allow us to knock out this turn with our GX ability. And we're going to have a Guzma for the following turn. Maybe we can trade into it. Uh, there's still some. There's Yeah, there's none left in the deck. So we have the two there. We can still puzzle for the other one. I am going to... Yeah, I'm just going to end and put him down to two. I know he has the Octo, but this is definitely... Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I I'd rather do this for sure than have a huge hand. So there's a, an Aqua Patch puzzle, a Bridget. We'll flush on the other Zork, and we will go for the Polar Spear GX. Uh, go take a knock out there. Do 180 damage. Going down to two price cards, and let's see what does our opponent have. So there's a Water G and a uh, Aqua Patch. Watch and learn. So the Wudo doesn't really matter. Uh, Octo is the key here. What does the Octo get my opponent? He needs a lot of stuff to knock out a Zark. He needs. Okay, there's a Fighting Energy there. Retreats to the Rock Ruff. A multi switch a water, uh, fighting energy the active. Um, Lycan Rock GX does not take a knockout either. There's a Buzzwell coming down. Uh, it only does 150, so it will not knock us out. There's a Bissell Hand. He should have probably waited to retreat it to go. Well, he couldn't multi switch then. Um, so there's an Ultra Ball. He cannot use Lycan Rock's GX ability. Uh, we didn't bench me Pokemon either, so like uh, it's you know Dangerous Rogue only does 150. Does it knock us out? We're not weak to fighting. Uh, yeah, so we're looking really good here. As long as we've got a Goose this turn, we'll be able to knock out this bench Regirock GX and win the game. Whoo! All right. Um, we do have a Lele in the deck as well. Um, one Ultra Ball. Maybe we should have kept the Ultra Ball from last turn instead of discarding it. So there's a Guzma, but he's already retreated. He's already retreated. So that does not matter to me. There's a Bloodthirsty Eyes. <clears throat> and what else does he have here? Remember, he already retreated, so he can't retreat again. <clears throat> that would have won the game. 100% would have won the game. So pass on to our turn. All right. So we find a Guzma. Top decks are real. So will Guzma bring him his Raj, Ridge Rock, Cinnabar Glaceon. He has 120 HP left. We got the nice uh, Frost Bullet. And we'll do Frost Bullet for 120. We'll hit somebody for the knockout. And there we go. Taking down the Buzzwall deck, which is a very hard matchup for us. Like I said, they don't really base their GX abilities on, uh, they don't have GX abilities really, except for that uh, Lycan Rock, which would have made the difference. If we didn't have that Glacier in the active, if we could have Bloodthirsty Ice, brought up a, uh, a Zark, it took out a knockout for sure, and would have won that game. But there we go, uh, another game number two, pretty well uh, with the Glacier on Zark deck. Let's go one more game. Wow, this, this is uh, pretty good. Uh, for sure, I think it's probably, yeah, it's, oh my goodness, I need to order, order my Glacians today. <laughs> Alright, so on to game number three. Oh, let's see what happens. I really want to play against a Dustman Necrozma deck. That's really what I want to see. What can we play? And unfortunately, it's not a Dustman Necrozma. It's some kind of like psychic deck. That's fine. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's Espeon Garboder. And we can see how that kind of matchup kind of goes. Um, 
I imagine it's somewhat difficult. I'm not gonna lie. The confusion from like um, from Espeon is so good. But look at this. This is a great turn again. Look, we just have all these options. Oh my goodness, Pokemon. If we're drawing this hot, don't tell me we need to play this for regionals. What are you doing right now? Don't tell me to play this for regionals. Uh, put down Azora. Oh, press done. And uh, let's let's start the party here. What 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 do we have here today, guys? So <clears throat> we see a, a Necrozma GX now. Necrozma GX does have a light in, which is a GX ability, but it really. Uh, it doesn't matter. All right, so Tapu Lele. No, if we would have went first, we could have shut down the Tapu Lele. Uh, oh, man. That's problematic. So there's a Bridget coming into their hand. And once again, we're in that situation where, yeah, we have a Lele where we could bridge it, but we don't have another supporter card. So I don't know if I want a Lele for Bridget just right now. All right, so see, Lele. Goodness, no. Why, 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 Pokemon? All right, so a Mimikyu and two type nulls coming down, okay? Uh, thankfully, there's not a steel type null, so that's really not gonna matter. Uh, Psychic energy is a two type null, or it's, it's a Savali. Hey, Brigetti, there you go. Uh, so we're gonna bridge it first before I uh, put, I guess it really doesn't matter, because I'm gonna do probably the same things. Wow, this is a fantastic turn. Oh my goodness, so why don't you deactivate? You, yes, are you kidding me? I would love to use my ability to get out of Glaceon. Man, just think if we went first and, like, got this online. Like, we're going to be staring down three Zoras and an Eevee and just all this kind of good stuff. And, like, man. Okay. Well, whatever. Oh, it's my opponent. So, we're going to draw a card. Now, we do have a choice spin. We can maybe put in the active. Uh, realistically, we're two-shotting. So, I'm just going to, like, Lele for Cynthia. I wish I could Lele for Chorus. That would be really good. Um, but, yeah. Let's see what we got here. Uh, there's an N. Hey. Thanks, bud. All right, don't have to use my supporter card ASAP. Uh, we've got six new cards here. Let's see, what do we find? All right, so right now it just looks like we're just going to Cynthia and just see what happens. Uh, there's a Max Lux there. I mean, if we top deck Azor, we're discarding the Eevee, uh, draw two new cards, and then we'll start the chain party. Uh, but we see a Max Lux there. I'm not sure what we're playing against. Uh, Mimikyu does have that copycat attack, uh, which I don't care about too much. They can copy our Frostbolt. That's fine, whatever. Is it just copy attack we used last turn, right? Yeah. All right, so Flutstone, Azora. We will Cynthia. Man, <laughs> don't let me whip Pokemon. Come on, let me find some Zorks. Okay, okay. Wow. All right, so Ultra Ball. Discard a Bridget and a Water G. To find a Zark. We will put down Zark. We will trade away a Water G. Draw two new cards. Come on, let me find a DCE. Alright. Alright, put down Zark. We will trade a discarded Eevee. Come on, DCE. Don't let me down. And. Okay, we can still dig. Uh, I don't, Do we need to dig? That's the question, though. I don't. I don't think we need to dig here. If we dig, we're in trouble. So I'm going to put a water in this guy. Um, like, I mean, we could hit the DC, right? Like, how, how many, how many DCs are, we have 40, oh my gosh, no, <laughs> I think this is a smarter play, but I think we need to go this route and just press done, unfortunately, and it's very unfortunate for us, but at the same time, he's not really threatening anything, yeah, he can, like, maybe attack with, like, Savali, uh, Savali would actually take a knock on here, uh, it would do 250, it has the same attack as the Dangerous Rogue GX, so it would do 250 to knock us out, so there's an Ultra Ball, but, remember, the Gyro unit ability is not going to be active. He is not going to have free retreat, uh, because we do have that Glaceon freezing gaze. And once again, it is becoming really good. Alright, so this card's a Guzma and a Fuel Blower. He had a Guzma and opted not to play it. Okay. Uh, there's a uh, Savali GX going to come down. He's got that Gyro unit ability, which gives a free retreat. But, the Glaceon to play with the freezing gaze is going to say, no, 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 no. You, you don't have that anymore. Sorry there, bud. Um... I don't know if my opponent realizes what Glaceon does. Maybe he doesn't, and that's why he went this way. There's a Parallel City. Going to put himself uh, down to three, which is kind of unfortunate just because we cannot uh, two-shot this Necrozma now. Now, is it only for the... Um... So, yeah, it's only do 10 damage to the Savali. Oh, that's so problematic. Uh, see if Max looks there. Going to fail that one. Okay, that's good news for us. Let's see, what else do we have here? Now, regardless, we have a good turn, um, just because we can, like, Aqua Patch, Ultra Ball for Lele, Sycamore, and go places. 
And that's what we're going to do here. I'm going to discard the Guzma, an Acerola, to find a Lele for the Sycamore, and we're just going to go out from there. We'll Auk Patch to the bench, Glaceon, setting that guy up. We'll Lele, uh, Winter Tag, yes, we will find a Sycamore. I guess this is kind of where we need, like, maybe more Field Blowers, or... Like, our own stadium, so that way, like, Parallel City's not doing all this, like, bad stuff to us. Alright, so there's a Water G and a DCE, finally. So, we will trade, discard it in, draw two new cards. Okay, there's another Zork. That's pretty good. Uh, we'll trade, discard a Water G. I'm looking for a choice. Well, I guess choice man doesn't... Oh, baby, this is a lot of good stuff. Uh, we're going to have to DCE active. Do we trade again? Uh, sure, we have, we're going to have three Glaceons powered up. We probably don't need any more outside of that. So put one there. Uh, we'll trade, discard the fourth Water G away. Our third Water G, I think, this turn. Alright, so this is a pretty good hand. So we're going to go for Frost Bullet. Doing only 7 to the active, and I guess 10 to this guy. Oh, man. Alright, but should it, yeah, if we found a Choice Man, we could have two-shot this guy. But still, he doesn't have free retreat, so he can't retreat this Necrozma unless he finds a DCE or a Guzma. Alright, but he does have a fighting memory to the Savali, so Savali can, like, blow us up pretty well. There's another Savali GX coming down. But once he uses his GX stack, he really can't do anything. Like, Necroz is not really good, because he can't use Black, Black Ray GX. Um, Savali, Turbo Drive does 120. There's an end. We play multiple Ace, we play multiple Ace Rolls and Puzzles, so we're not really worried about the Turbo Drive. We can kind of just cycle between Pokemon. There's a DCE, some stuff as well. Choice Band coming late now. Unfortunately, there's a Psych Energy going to mimic you. Don't care too much about that. Um, one thing I kind of want to find this turn is definitely a Guzma to bring up this bench, uh, bench to the valley. Uh, swing into it. Maybe some of the Glaceon with all the water energies on it. Uh, there's a Psych Energy to the active. Pass onto our turn. Now, the one thing that could happen, and what I'm kind of scared of, is we probably need to use our Polar Spear GX just to knock out this Glaceon. And the only reason I'm saying this is if he gets this, like, this Black Ray GX tack off, we're going to be in trouble. So I'm going to put a Floodstone on the Lele. I'm going to trade away the other Floodstone. I'm going to keep pretty much everything else in our hand. We could maybe attach a Water G, but I really don't want to waste that. We're going to discard the uh, the N. Just trying to play down as much as we want. We need to manage the resources. We'll uh, trade, discard the Ultra Ball. And yeah, I think I am going for the GX tag. I'm very scared of a Black Ray GX. That's definitely the scariest thing in his deck. Uh, so right now we're going for Polish Spear. We could let's touch a Water G to Zark. Um, we can attack with it. Maybe the Water G next to it. So we're going for Polish Spear GX. Let's take a knock on here. Uh, he, Miku can't copy GX tag, and even then it's not that good. Uh, there's a puzzle and a Guzma coming to your hand. And now he's kind of in weird space because yeah, he can Rubble GX for the knockout. That's 100% true. Uh, here goes Mimikyu. Okay. Making sure I read that right. I was like, he can't copy GX text. And even then, Polar Spirit does... Like, if you copy Polar Spirit, do zero damage. So this is Guzma. Going to bring up a Zark. He is going to find a DC and probably take a knockout this turn. But that's fine. Uh, Lele. Going to Warner Tag. Oh, he actually needs to find... Okay, so that was what he needed to do. He put himself down to three, but could have put down the Lele. And even then, we had a Glace on the active, so it didn't really matter. All right. So is he a Sycamore? Going to discard his hand, draw into seven cards. So let's see here. If he gets, oh, because he already played supporter card, so he can't do anything. All right. So I'm gonna Guzma, bring up his Lele, set up our Glaceon, uh, choice ban it, and I'm gonna try to two shot this guy. Do we need a trade? We'll put a Water G here. Um, we'll trade, discard the Aqua Patch. Do we have Field Blow in the discard pile? We don't. Alright, we'll trade again, discarding the other the, the Glaceon. We don't need Glaceon anymore. Uh, we're pretty set up as we're pretty set up pretty well. I uh, will discard the Eevee. We'll go down to three cards. I think right now I'm gonna hold my hand just so we don't deck out and put another 10 on the Savali. Alright, so there's 110. So next time we can knock out this Lele. He's got a Sycamore, but he has... I don't think he plays Floatstone. I think he heavily relies on, like, Gyro unit. So that way he's not going to be able to retreat. There's a choice being on to the Mimikyu. Okay. Uh, he could use Copycat to get our uh, Polish Spear... Uh, not Polish Spear, the Frost Bullet. There's a Cynthia. Okay. 
Uh, once again, I don't think he's going to be... Okay, there's Psychic Energy. He's going to treat to, uh, the Mimikyu and copy our attack. So there you go. Here goes Mimikyu. Alrighty. So you have one Ace to roll. So we can do 90 and 30 to a bench. Um... Oh, Tidak Ace Rolla. How nice. Alright, so we'll play the Ace Rolla. Pick up the uh, Glaceon. I get... No, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. We should have just, like, took a knockout regardless. Oh, no. Now it's pretty silly. Do we have another Glaceon deck? We don't. Okay. Oh, uh, because no matter what, he's taking a knockout. This this is, like, an irrelevant knockout, most, like... For the most part. Uh, so do 90. And another 10 to this guy. Okay. <sighs> so there's a Tapu Lele. He still has to find a DCE. He has yet to find one DCE in its deck. Alright. So here comes the Savala GX. If he finds a DCE, he can, he can go for that Rebel GX. Take a knockout this turn. How many Guzmas has he played? There's one. Oh, two Guzma. Okay. He probably plays three. Alright. So 180. Right now we do not take a knockout. There's a DC go to the active. Uh, huh. So there's a field boy getting rid of the uh, floodstone. And floodstone, most likely. Alright. I only got rid of one floodstone. I guess he didn't want my. Oh, he got rid of floodstone in parallel, okay. Now, what we could do is end him down to four. Uh, if he gets a bunch of cards here. Uh, so there's a, a, a regular root coming down, okay. And a victory! Huh. Okay. Um. I don't know why a victory screen just came down. Uh, cause he had 180 H and 180 HP. We could have one shot him, but after we took a knockout on him, if he didn't have, can we see his deck list? We can't. Uh, so we're gonna say he only plays three Guzma, and then he's gonna have to two shot a Glaceon, which we could have. Oh, we like. We would have done 90 and 10 to the other Valley, right? And then, uh, oh, then we had the Ranguru. Oh, yeah, we could have just knocked out the Ranguru as well with the Zorg. Uh, maybe we could have goosed that up and knocked it out or something. There's a lot of uh, different ways to win that right now. His best attacker was Mimikyu. He also didn't find a DCE, but you can see how, like, relevant this Glaceon is. Like, so much, so many people are reliant on their Tapu Leles, and when they can't find it, they, you know, they just have to Guzma, Tapu Lele from the supporter card, and then just hope something happens next turn. So there we go. There's three wins in the Glaceon Zorg deck. It's a really good deck. The question is, how does it handle against Bulu and Dustmane and Karazma? That is a big two questions there. But guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic Monday. Remember, this weekend is Collinsville Regionals, and we'll see what happens. Have a great day. Alrighty. Bye.